distant horizons. Okay, you're getting ready to go travel. You might be going on a cruise. Um, you might be traveling somewhere where there's involving some form of water. You're getting ready to relax. Okay, I love it. I'm tapped out on cruises, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. So, like, <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be going on a cruise no time soon. I'm, I'm just good with it, um, without it, for that matter. So, you could be going somewhere traveling cross-country, somewhere to a new a new place you haven't been that's on the other side of the world and where you are right now. What's the good stuff coming towards my collective? Your finances are going to be increasing. Um, some of y'all might be getting married or like you might be finding a new mate. You could be meeting new love. Okay. Um, you're single. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's single here. All right. If you've been single, you're getting ready to find somebody and meet somebody. And this could be for work. Somebody here could work with children. Okay. That's not for everybody. Somebody here could work for children, work with children. Um, and some or enhance do you do something that enhances the lives of children or the adolescent? Okay, that's not for everybody. What else do we have for my collective here? The positive things. Somebody here um, could be planning a wedding. You're gonna be meeting a spouse here. Maybe you're traveling destination wedding for some of y'all. And that's what you're gonna enjoy here. Don't overspend on this trip, though, okay? If, for those of y'all going on a vacation or, like, a destination wedding, don't overspend. All right. Because Spirit is saying, yeah, celebration. Y'all get ready to go somewhere, like a party or, like, vacation, whatever this is. Like, uh, uh, you know, a wedding, a party, a bachelorette party could be for some of y'all or a bachelor party. Um, also, too, there's a reason for you to celebrate some hard work. Whatever you've been putting into, like, your focus, your discipline, your attention, whatever you've been turning your attention to, um, you're about to be celebrating. And the trip for yourself is like, I'm going to plan this trip and spend time with the people that I love. Okay? My friends. Maybe you and your friends are going on a trip here. That's what it looks like to me. For those who of you, this will man. I'm telling you, you've been making some sacrifices. I feel like y'all have been like saving money, or you've been putting all of your money into a business, or you've been putting all of your money into some form of an investment. And I feel like you're gonna start seeing the investment. You're gonna start seeing the return on the investment. Okay, it's like you're giving up something. You gave up something for a while, right? So you can meet a certain goal, and you know. You're okay with that. Continue to do that. That's another reason why I'm saying here, like, if you're getting ready to go somewhere, then low-key, like, don't spend a lot of money. That's that's what I'm getting here with that energy. So, very specific message. What do we have for the collective? The positive stuff coming through. Some of you guys are gifted. People look up to you. Did you know that people look up to you, collective? Whatever you do, people see you as like kind, caring, um, you know, someone who, like I said, may work with children or you do something that heals the inner child or you do something or you are like people get advice from you. They really look up to you. Some of y'all are like earth angels. People really feel like you are heaven sent, God sent, like God has a, you have a calling over your life if you did know that. You have a calling over your life. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like I'm talking to a single person who wants a family, who is looking to looking for something committed, right? Even if you're single um, or or you could be in a relationship, right? And you want a family or you want to move in together or you want to get married, right? Because we saw this marriage en energy in the distant horizon. Um, this Eight of Pentacles energy, it's like you're building up to something. Um, Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting a while, you've been investing, right? Um, some of y'all are saving to buy a home. Whatever it is, I feel like you've made all these sacrifices and now these sacrifices are getting ready to lead you into your next level, okay? You are leveling up, basically. You, If you didn't know this... Because you're so special, because you're so connected to the divine, to source, whatever it is that you call it, the universe, okay, God, um, you're divinely protected and you should remember that. 
What else here? Positive things coming in for my collect. Yeah, you guys are vibing high. My high vibing tribe. Y'all are really vibing high here. High vibrational energy for sure. So do what you can to, yeah, this literally says time to do what's best for you. No more sacrificing. Didn't I talk about sacrifice? Yeah, sacrifice. Again, two cards of like you gave up a whole bunch of stuff or something to accomplish something, whether this is financial or personal, you gave up something and now you're getting like things are working out better for you. It's like you're going from the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Honestly, with this marriage energy, I feel like you're blessed and highly favored and protected. Some of y'all getting ready to move into a new home. Like, yeah, as I say that, relocation, new place, new life. Spirit wants you, is reminding you that you are special to them, okay? You are, you are yeah, bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Y'all definitely have something new coming in here, Page of Cups. Something new that you're going to love. Three of uh, Wands, some of y'all are traveling to a place that you've always wanted to travel to, something on your bucket list. Like, there's a certain place here on your bucket list with this Three of Wands, which again, I said, you might be going on a cruise, you might be traveling. And that was from the Distance card. This is like a Three of Wands energy for me in the Kipper deck. And look at what we're splitting the deck and seeing. It's like, you are have a list of places like you may want to travel or you may be thinking about moving. And it's like, okay. You also have some stuff coming in, some positive things coming in for the future, too. So you made a list and you're about to decide where you're going to travel or where you're going to move. Time out for sacrificing for every you were doing so much for other people. Now it's time for you to do everything that you need to do for you. OK, what's the good stuff coming in for my collective? Why is the devil here? What's the good stuff coming in? You could be a Capricorn. This is not about love. Somebody is obsessed with you, though. Ten of Cups. This is good. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Listen, we really aren't talking about love, but it started out with a connection, with this marriage energy, okay? The devil and the lovers, Gemini and Capricorn energy, and the bottom of the deck is Ten of Cups, and we already saw this marriage energy. So you might have a connection coming in that somebody's it's going to be real hot and heavy, like passion. You might have somebody who is obsessed with you too. Let's get another card. What's the new stuff? Yeah, marriage, commitment. I'm sorry, I've been hitting this dang on mic. Okay, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Show me more here. There goes that two of wands. So we got two cards here of a choice, the lovers and the two of wands. That's like two different pathways, right? You're, you are moving on a different journey. You're headed down a different direction, but you're still on your path is what I'm seeing here. You're still on your path and your purpose. The Hierophant to the Two of Wands, you are in your purpose. To the Page of Pentacles, it may have taken you a long time, but again, there is something new developing here and it's ultimately going to lead to, to harmony and balance. Justice, energy, Libra. You have a harmonious, thank you for the confirmation spirit. You have a connection coming in, y'all, that is, you're going to be having like a lot of like, you know, a lot of sex. It's going to be a strong attraction with this person. Oh, tired at the hip, honey. I don't know. What's this devil energy? The Ten of Wands in reverse just fell on top of the marriage card, okay? So this is like, the connection's not going to be burdensome. It's not going to be negative. Mm. You can let go of the past, by the way. I feel like, um, let go of that past, okay? Or let go of that past ex or that past lover. Matter of fact, let me pull from the love oracle deck and see what's going on here. Let me see. Show me about this connection for the collective that's coming in. So it's a new person with no drama. There goes that wedding card. 
Listen, some of y'all might be getting married, moving in with each other. Somebody might be proposing to you. They may want to propose to you or you're just going to meet somebody at a wedding, okay, if you're single. And this is the person that you end up falling in love with, child. I don't, that's what I'm seeing. Wedding is out here twice. Playfulness. There's no stress. There's no burden. There's no worry about this. Ten of Wands in reverse. Show me more about this connection. Mm -hmm. Engagement. Some of y'all legit is like, spirit is like, hey man, you're about to get wifed up. Didn't I say let go of the past? Free yourself. It's time to take your control back over your life. Some of y'all... This is, could be a pers person that you know that wants to propose to you. Keep that in mind. This could be an ex, somebody that you have released your energy, <clears throat> somebody that you don't necessarily want to be back with. Some of y'all might want this past person back. Somebody here wants you. Now, for some of y'all, if this is not an ex, this can totally be a past life relationship where this person, you know, just feels like they know you with this past life relationship and reconciliation. For those of y'all, um, this is a past person that's going to come back in and that may have left you out in the cold, had you in five of pentacles energy. They wanted to be in control. Um, you know, <laughs> they're still obsessed with you. Okay. Some of y'all, <sighs> child, Somebody's friend is like trying to trying to orchestrate something. Okay. Your friend could be, yeah, somebody's getting ready to go on a trip, honeymoon, make the effort. You deserve love and soulmate. Yeah, you definitely have a soulmate tie here, a strong tie. You deserve love, made the effort, soulmate, honeymoon, trust. The situation is calling for you to have control. Trust. Don't be all in this energy of being in control. All right. Some of y'all want the X back. Some of y'all don't. And that's cool. What's the good stuff coming in for my collective? I was trying to stay away from love, but Spirit wants to talk about it. The Hermit. What's the Hermit? Some sort of truth or some information is going to be coming in to you. Um, this is about a group of people from the past. So I'm feeling like maybe there's some gossip. You might get a phone call. This is so random, but I got to talk about it. With the Hermit and the Ace of Swords, it's like... You, spirit is either A, revealing to you someone's true intentions here. Yeah, spirit is revealing this to you. Mm -hmm. I feel like spirit is, y'all are about, this feels it's very similar to the energy, the reading I did yesterday. Go watch yesterday's reading. It was like some people from the past were jealous about like are going to be getting ready to be jealous about some stuff that's coming in for you, right? Good things, particularly when you meet, thank you, confirmation, when you meet a new soulmate, right? These people are someone from the past, but also to a group of people in a community or some friend. There was more than one person who like just didn't want to see you happy. Um, and I feel like this is a group of people who you've made sacrifices for, people who abandoned you and you helped out quite a bit. You're a very kind, loving and nurturing person. I just saw the Queen of Cups in the deck, male or female. You're, like I was saying, kind hearted, nurturing. You're good with kids or like you're great with animals or like you, you, you're just a sweet all around person. And I feel like you gave and gave and gave to people and sacrificed and sacrificed and sacrificed for everybody other than yourself. And now you're in this energy of like, you know what? I'm just doing me. What's the good stuff coming in for a collective? So I feel like spirit is shining a light on these people. Um, Y'all are about to get a promotion at work or get a new job also. Okay. You might be finding out about a new job or a new promotion getting an email or a phone call or like an opportunity and whatever this is with the hermit the ace of swords and this eight of pentacles this job might be re you know might require relocating nine of uh pentacles i mean nine of pentacles nine of cups is a wish fulfillment it's something that you really really want it's gonna make you very happy like this is good news this is like doing what you always dreamed of doing like you know, and I feel like you've been searching for a new job here. 
you might even want to get more information about it too. I feel like you need more information about the situation for you to be able to make a decision. Yeah, that's what this is. Page of Cups, the Star, the Two of Swords. Okay. It's like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I stay here or do I go, right? Because something is outside of your comfort zone or you're going to have to travel. Either way, it seems like it's something that you really want to do. You've always wanted to do it or something that you're really, really good at, that you're really great at. Okay. Show me more about the good stuff coming in from my collective. But again, money's getting better. Money is improving here. Um, with the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, that's like definitely a, a raise or a promotion or like even if you get a new job somewhere else or a new contract or something like that, um, it's giving you extra cash flow and extra money. Um, again, I feel like Spirit is revealing some people to you who don't want to see you happy or who are working against you or competition and people that you didn't even know were competition. That was that five of wands energy that I felt like, you know, so be careful and mindful of the people around you when spirit is trying to show you um, who these people are. Make sure you pay attention to that energy because I feel like there are some people who are trying to take advantage of you. But you are protected. Just know that. You might experience some challenges. You might have to set some boundaries. But I know you've been through a lot. You sacrificed a lot. And you've been in this resilient energy. Like this nine of wands energy. You're getting there. Um, also too. Remember I was saying you're getting ready to do something. That you've always wanted to do. Like your dreams are coming true. Or like your dream job. You know. Do whatever you can. For those of y'all looking to change your career. Or get into that lane. Where you feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, make sure you're doing everything you can. To research and nurture your dream. And find your dream. Uh, because you're getting ready to approach a new chapter in your life. And this is going to be really, really good. Like this is the birth of a new beginning. Um a new era. You're in this fertile energy, this growth and creation. The Empress energy, whether you're a man or a woman, the Empress energy is about new things. So if you have a business idea, do it. Write it down. Take the first step. Create the LLC. Make a website. Get you a logo. Like whatever that takes. Make a list and then get there. Okay. Again, I'm seeing justice energy here. A lot about sacrifice. Just make sure you're not sacrificing your integrity or your principles. Okay, that's not for everybody here. Hmm. Somebody here from that that person, for those of you who this is gonna resonate with, the person from the past that wants to come back in and maybe like reconcile with you. This person believes you're their soulmate. And now they're ready to make sacrifices to be with you. And they weren't in the past. But now for some reason, they ass is ready, child. They ready to get married. They ready to make whatever sacrifices to make it work in love right now. Show me more here for the collective. Uh-oh. We have dedicate yourself fully to your goals and you will gain momentum. I literally just said that the, whatever it is that you've been wanting to do and you haven't gotten to it yet. Now is going to be the great time to get started. We're not even until another Mercury retrograde, I think until like August or something. So like now is going to be a really good time. Like we're on a new moon. New moon just passed. It's This is great energy for you to start fresh. Okay. Um, or pick up where you left off and get it done. Um, things are not quite as they seem. What is hidden will soon be revealed. I told y'all. Spirit is getting ready to reveal something, somebody to you, several people to you. I don't know if y'all can read that or not. This literally says um, mystery, secrets, divination, chance, fate, hidden potential, intuitive insight. Okay. Spirit is revealing this to you. Some of y'all might have some people at work. Who are, this is that revealing energy, right? Spirit is shining a light on some shits. Maybe some people at work who you, you know, didn't know was a hidden, hidden enemy or they were in secret competition with you and you didn't even know it was a competition. But we're talking about the positive, the good thing. So that just tells me it's going to turn out in your favor. We, did, we have seen the justice card come out twice. 
So I feel like there's really nothing for you to do in this situation. Okay. But just pay attention. All right. Um, where's my dick? Hold on, y'all. Where did I put that? Oh, I'm going crazy. I'm tripping. Okay. I'm like, where did my dick go? Let me pull two more cards here so I can finish this spread. Hit the like button, y'all. Subscribe to the channel if anything resonates for you. Show me more about the good things coming in towards my collective. So you have a commitment coming in. Maybe possibly a new job, a new lover. Um, yeah, I'm, you're whoever this is that's in competition with you, that they, they don't want to see you win, I feel like. They're about to be forcing you your hand. Somebody's hand is uh, somebody's hands about to be revealed. I don't know why spirit wants to talk about this because it's positive. It's a good thing. That's what we gonna take it. Okay, seven of swords. It's like yeah, temperance, temperance. Yeah, Tem somebody is lurking in the damn shadows. But spirit is about to reveal this temperance and the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck, and then the hangman and the nine of wands just came out. Remember, I was telling you earlier, you've been feeling like was you've been resilient. You've been making all these sacrifices. Money may have been like I was telling you earlier, pay attention to how much money you're spending. Money, money is going to be improving. But also, too, I feel like this Pisces energy, somebody's trying to keep you stuck. <laughs> like didn't want this. They don't want to see you win. You could be a Pisces. Okay. You don't have to be. Or Virgo. Show me this tame man energy. Amen is clarified by strength. If you don't keep pushing and persevering, you're not stuck. Spirit is saying you're not stuck, okay? Um, just keep pushing. You've been resilient, you're doing good. Clarify the hey man. Make sure you're not stuck in fear. Okay, the king of pentacles. Make sure you're not... Um, when this comes in your career, king of pentacles, even though male or female doesn't matter, spirit wants you to take control over your career or your life or, you know, um, your stability. Stay strong, stay disciplined, and just keep pushing, okay? Now is the... Yeah, keep pushing six of wands because you're going to be sooner or later recognized, I just feel like a lot of this could be fear. I'm seeing the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Also, too, I feel like some people don't want to see you recognize, but you will be recognized. It don't matter. Clarify this nine of wands. Justice, I told you, you've been through a lot. You've been resilient. You made all these damn sacrifices and then boom, justice. You're going to get this justice. It's coming. That's why spirit is talking about this. I don't care if you have been stressed out or not. Nine of swords, anxiety, maybe some sleepless nights, confused, you know, and stressed. There's no need for you to stress. Ten of cups, the death card. There was might have been an ending here. Maybe you have to end something else. Scorpio energy, cancer energy with this judgment and the chariot. I feel like this is you moving on to a new chapter. Like we just said, you're transitioning into your ten of cups and your nine of cups which is joy fulfillment your heart's desires um being happy feeling balanced in everything that you do being happy with the career or the job that you have um so yeah that's the good stuff coming towards y'all i hope this resonated i was gonna pull from a different deck but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna just leave it there okay i love y'all i'll see you later bye